It's time to charge in for victory with Chemical Spill OTK Warrior. The idea behind this deck is we're going to use Audio Amplifier to get up to 11 mana. From there, we are going to be buffing up Gromosh with Black Rock and Roll, though it isn't really needed. And then Black Rock and Roll will be cheated out with the new card Chemical Spill that will automatically do the 5 damage. This will then make him a 18 attack minion if we hit him with the black rock and roll if not he'll be still a 12 attack minion then we are going to be using both battle sworn faceless in order to copy him twice basically being able to otk anyone that we might run against we also have a backup plan of inventor boom and odin now for the mulligan guide you are going to be looking for early game draw power cards such as needle rock totem removal tools such as Bellowing Flames or Sanitize. And finally, Black Rock and Roll and Audio Amplifier are also really good to keep. Now, with that all being said, let's look at some games. Okay, Demon Hunter, let's see what they have in store for us. Hopefully, it isn't a Mechtheridon deck because that deck, while we are a counter to it, it won't allow us to actually win how I want to. All right, so let's get rid of these two, keeping the other. Audio Amplifier is just a pretty good card. I actually thought about cutting razor fin for something else maybe bash or something oh it's whiz bang okay well that technically changes things but i don't honestly remember what is the in the whiz bang demon hunter list besides the fact that they get the three whiz wishes so we're just gonna slam this down hopefully they don't have a response also we'll say our hand got considerably worse with the mulligan but sometimes it just works out that way right Let's just armor up here and draw a card. Might as well. Oh, Grom. Grom, I did not want to see you hit yet, my friend. I really wanted to. Well, I mean, okay. Already in testing, we've shown off like the perfect, perfect combo. So there is another combo that I kind of want to show off and we might be able to do it with our given hand right now. I'm going to use audio amplifier. The second combo depending on it, wishful thinking, right, is um, bot or chemical spill into bot face. Hopefully we get a shutter block in that situation. And then, you know, uh, inventor boom, inventor boom to get a full board of minions for free or all seven mana, but same difference, right? And demon hunter is a class that doesn't normally be or can deal with it unless they are a Mechtheridon list, but because they are a Whizbang list, I don't know if that deck is normally just running Mechtheridon. However, the window shoppers make that highly likely. I will say that from what I've tested, the amount of times you get Mechtheridon off of the <laughs> window shoppers is absolutely insane. Like I, I I'm amazed at it, right? I think we want to clear all out as much as we humanly can. Problem is, Bladestorm isn't going to do what I really want to do. Training Dummy does help, and we didn't trigger either of the secrets. I will say, I am so thankful that Watcher got printed after Objection rotated out. But because can you imagine, for example, Big Demon Hunter got access to objection so they'd have the ultimate control honestly that card would see so much play in that deck or even just as a really good random generation right come on please clear out yeah 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 do it now clear out their minions close enough we do have the second training dummy for next turn because while it won't oh inventor boom okay 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 the dream is here the dream is here we just have to, <laughs> okay, well, technically, okay, well, hmm. it is worth mentioning the bot face combo is technically chemical spill into bot face into blade storm and then filling up your hand. But uh, I don't, I don't think blade storm will come up this time around, but it really just depends on what they slam down. Come on, hit that 4-3 as much as humanly possible or, or only hit it once. Okay, well. <laughs> all right chemical spill into bot face oh we <laughs> we got it <laughs> let's go all right all we got to do is slam down bot face and no, not bot face shutter block and then we'll clear out shutter block so it's going to be a three turn combo hopefully we don't lose before then 
Okay, we so grab brawl, slam it down shutter block, and hopefully, fingers crossed, right? Shutter block somehow survives. It's a one in four chance. I very much doubt it, but you never know, right? Well, I mean, CCG surviving isn't the worst option. All right, now all we gotta do next turn is slam down inventor boom, and we're gonna invent our way to victory. A brand new way to win. Oh, Mechtheridon. Well, actually, you know what? In this combo in particular, Mechtheridon doesn't do what they needed because Mechtheridon is just a body on board that can't be hit by our random minions. Give us all target dummies. Oh, no, one of each. Okay, well, yeah. Okay, so it's just go... <laughs> okay, it gave us one of each three times. I wonder if... I'd have to read Inventor Boom again. I don't think it says different on it, which means we hit a... I mean, the chances of hitting this three times in a row is at least one ninth, right? But I feel like it's actually like 181st if we are, we're getting into the digits. <laughs> Either we got incredibly lucky or incredibly unlucky. And I really, really hope they don't generate something that could make that even worse i actually don't know what could be generated off of the wish that would actually win them the game they'd have to have an aoe silence and i think the wishes only have cards up to savers of old doom in it right which means i don't think there's an aoe silence and nuke the board psychic scream i guess but it looks like this is just going to be gg okay warrior versus warrior let's see what they have in store for us this opener doesn't look that good, to be honest. Let's just get rid of everything here. Oh, you know, this looks a lot better. I will say that it looks a lot better than it did before. All right, let's just pass it back to them. They'll probably slam down the uh, totem, or maybe they won't. Okay, I'm curious of what they're actually playing. We'll slam down our totem, though. Okay, armor gain draw power. That's good. We need one more mana for it to be really good, though. It'll push down something. We could forge. I, I think actually forging is the best bet. We could have also went with quality insurance. That could have worked. But I honestly didn't want to do something like that. It. I don't know. Of course, Rift. Okay, so they're probably an older version of Warrior, I had to guess. Though, I will say, let's see if we can oh bot face is actually pretty good i will mention that bot face does feel a little bit anti-synergistic in this deck just because of the fact that you have to slam down bot face before the chemical spill but there are two copies of him in or a chemical spill in the deck so it feels a little less bad because of that but you know it can definitely be a big problem in the long run right so let's probably slam down black rock and roll next turn as long as we don't draw into Gromosh, because if we draw into Gromosh, then, you know, um, we won't be able to do the full combo. Though, I don't think that is going to do what they needed to do. Through Fire of Flames is an interesting card to run in Warrior. Okay, we have a few options. We could just forge two cards. We could also use Belling Flames and then forge one of the cards, but I think Black Rock and Roll is... Nah. No, let's just clear out the board. Clearing out the board and then forging one of the cards. It lets us retain the armor just in case. Which is probably the most important thing to do right here, right? I would say in my opinion at least. There's Ignis. Uh, good thing we do actually own Ignis in this list. I originally did not have him in the list. Uh, and that was a bad idea. <laughs> Mainly because of stuff like this. You end up getting into a warrior matchup where... You don't have Ignis, but they have Ignis, and you just lose. Okay, we can sanitize. Otherwise, we're just missing Grom, right? I kind of want to black rock and roll, and then we can sanitize next turn. Guarantee clear out the board, which is good. Even if they get rid of all of our armor. Though it does depend if our opponent slams down a big minion here or not. But it looks like they're going to armor, and then armor her to draw two cards also apologies for the cut off of their hand I, i'll have that fixed for the next video trust me when i say that at least i think i have it fixed for the next one i'm like 80 percent sure i do all right let's 
Let's sanitize here, pass it back. All right, so we do have Grom, which is great for us. We got him the turn after we actually used <laughs> the Black Rock and Roll. Oh, oh, I guess they're excavating Warrior. That's kind of a different twist. Did not expect to see that after the news that came out. I kind of expected. Here's the fun thing about Slug or Slagma. I've thought about trying to make something work with him by getting like additional copies or something, but it just it just doesn't. I don't know. Phantom is basically the better version of it. And now that we have it enabled, which is cool, right? And I am really tempted to still cover Will Warlock, even though a lot of people are covering it. Oh, perfect one, three. And then I guess we'll grab the two damage. Let's do two to the face and pass it back. I will say this. Uh, <laughs> This hand or this deck has a lot of flexibility and the flexibility that it has is insane. That, that is not a card that I wanted to see. Oh, also, I oh, did not realize that actually got the benefit even if there was a dormant minion. Uh, that's good to know for the future, I guess. Let's use Blade Storm, get rid of the big minion. Slam down. Actually, let's just Hero Power and then draw two. Belly and Flame. And Garrosh can use this to draw some more cards so we don't burn anything. I, I didn't want to burn anything there. I know that looks really, really bad, but it is one of those plays that you just got to do just in case. I didn't want to burn. Odin would have been a bad, bad burn. It, I, I mean, we don't really necessarily need Odin, but I, I would prefer to have him, especially in this matchup, just in case, right? Are they really just Rift Warrior? Also, it's worth pointing out, I am still amazed that we never saw a Legendary for Rifts. I Like, they've tried to push that so hard. It's amazing that they didn't try to put a Legendary in the mini set for Festival of Legends. Let's draw a card. Ooh, Chemical Spill number two. Which means we can actually use one for Bot Face if we really, really feel like it. Probably not going to do it this turn, but we can do it next turn if we really need to. Then we can forge this card down. All right, so combo-wise, what are we missing in hand? We're missing the second faceless, and then we have full combo. Okay, now we just got to keep our opponent below math, math, math. 18 times 3, but I can't think of what that is right now. 36, 54. We have to keep them below 54 total life, basically. They're at 41 right now. Also, we have to, like, prevent them from having a huge tot. Though at the same time, oh, there's audio amplifier. That's actually good. Come on, get rid of Odin. All right, I guess we don't get rid of him, but we now do. Keeps them below that armor. We can draw a few cards. Come on. Come on, give me... Oh, well, Odin's good, especially at 16-16. Though they do have a minion that instantly trades with a 16-16. In two turns, at least. Ooh. That's a little bit annoying, but at least we can deal with it. Got to remember, got to get bot face out of the hand. We could also just slam down bot face to slam him down without cheating him out. But oh, Odin, but slam down boom. This isn't really what I want to do. Probably should have saved that for later. I really thought we had two back in the pool for boom, but I guess we didn't. All right, one more turn until they get a 16-16. Still kind of confused why they used a 16-16 if they have no way to awaken it. But it is a low-cost minion, and in theory, you could slam it down. It's a very similar idea to what Magtheridon does, except Magtheridon actually AoEs the board. Oh, great. Well, there goes our 15-15. Now, backfire, y'all. Come on, backfire. That technically does it. At least kind of. Oh, well, that didn't backfire as much as I needed it to. We could use Sanitize next turn. As long as one ping hits Inventor Boom, I should say. Come on, ping hit Inventor. I, I really would love to keep Sanitize for a later turn. Wait. We could also bot face, but I think sanitize first, slam down totem, and then pass it back to them. Sure, they get 
16 16 this turn, but we do have Blade Storm. So hopefully, well, I mean, even if they clear our minion, we have Blade Storm in hand, so it's not like that big of a deal. And they did try to clear our face, but that that doesn't work. We we got to remember though to slam down bot face. It is worth mentioning though, Garrosh's gift does have execute in it. That actually might be the answer. We grab execute off of Garrosh gift. We slam down Odin, and then basically they got a trade with us. Well, that's a full combo, but we do need to get rid of that big, big minion. <laughs> because Slagma is a little bit of pain in our, our butt. And then slam down good old bot face here, and then we can either take the 50 next turn. If we don't, well, okay, look. We can take the 50-50, or we could slam down own, and then pass it back. Because I think we'll, we'll still be safe. I'm like 80% sure we'll still be safe afterwards. Okay. Oh, oh, well, okay, that doesn't hurt as much as you'd expect it to. As long as they can't, you know, get rid of as much HP. Come on, 50 50, oh, let's go. <laughs> and it's time to charge into victory once again. All right, now that we're through the games, let's discuss my final thoughts of the deck. So this deck actually performed pretty well. It did everything I wanted to do with the deck and more. I got the fabled a shutter block into Inventor Boom in order to fill up our board to finish off our opponent. I got uh, the perfect OTK combo between Gromosh and Block Rack and Roll. There's not much more that I could have asked out of this deck. I will say one thing, however. Botface is a little bit anti-synergistic with the combo that you're trying to do, so you could in theory cut him out. However, I wanted to try to focus on as many new cards as we possibly could without heavily relying on things like Odin in order to win the game. Overall, if you're a fan of Control Warrior or OTK Charge Warrior, this should be a perfect deck for you all to try out as it is a lot of fun and is very reminiscent of the Ultrac Volley Charge Warrior decks. Now, like always, if you enjoyed the video, please like, comment, subscribe. Until next time, bye-bye.